but enough to control distance. And then, as I just said, and as you just saw, turn it over into a left hook. Good work by Ramos. You can see a little extra work in, in the corner. For dealing with that top part of the shoe, making sure that Velcro patch was pulled over. On the right foot of Rico Ramos, the unbeaten prospect from nearby Los Angeles. We're about an hour and 15 minutes southeast of L.A. in Temecula. CompuBox numbers, the power punches in round number three. Remember, Santos had his best punch of the fight, that short right hand that scored against Ramos. Told you that Rico Ramos is dedicating this fight to Darius Watson. Among other things, Watson was Rico's cut man in the corner. He was only 38 years old when he unexpectedly passed away just six weeks ago. He'd been a pro fighter, was also a phys ed teacher at a junior high school in South L.A. Stopped boxing after being diagnosed with a heart condition. Was out on a run in the beach with Rico and later that day had a heart attack and passed. Well, as you said, our thoughts are prayers with him and his family. I talked about earlier about Santos being the much smaller fighter here. Comes in tonight, the heaviest of his career as he visits the Four, campus. Five, six, the first knockdown seven, of the night. Eight, nine, ten. Well, we talked about the body. And that's it. We said in the keep your edge piece leading into this fight, we said two things. One, that he should go to the body. You guys get that away. Santos has been knocked out several times down there. And the other thing we said during the course of this fight was Ramos, if he was going to be a legitimate prospect, at least in our eyes, he needed to score a knockout. He did both those things. He went to the body, he got the knockout. So now four times in his last five fights, Santos has been taken out. And as you said, Ramos needed to do that to keep that lofty status as a prospect to watch. Let's look back and watch this body shot that ended the night. Good technique there. We know it was good hand speed. We know it was a good punch, but watch the technique. A couple punches upstairs to rise the elbow. Watch again. Tough angle there to see this, but you see a couple punches upstairs, gets the elbow out of place, and then the left hook downstairs. And Teddy, for... And Teddy, for those folks at home who are saying, wait a minute, what was with the delayed reaction? This is not uncommon with exactly where he hit that target. No, it's not at all. It takes a little time to travel down to the place where that pain travels and where it just takes your legs away, takes your will away, takes your body away, and your spirit goes off somewhere else. But again, good technique by Ramos. Good hand speed, but I like the way he set it up. I don't like just the idea that he got rid of Santos, who's been knocked out five times, now six. I like the way he went about it. Couple punches upstairs, moved over downstairs, found the open. For the official particulars, we send it up to the ring to Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of one minute, 19 seconds in round number four. Our referee in charge, David Mendoza, reaches the count of 10. He is the winner by way of knockout. He is still undefeated and still the NABOU Junior Featherweight Champion, Suavecito Rico well, just Ramos. Tell me, tell me.